In this lesson, we are going to learn subroutines, how to write and use subroutines in the small basic program. So let us write a subroutine. Sub, I'm giving one name and and sub. So within this, any number of lines of code we can write. So I'm writing two lines of code. Text window, right line. I'm just printing your child. And one more line of code. I'm just copying it. Copy, paste. You must be in your primary school. So let us format this code, right click format program. So it automatically does the indentation. So I'm saying, uh, I'm writing a subroutine called child. So sub and answer, I'm giving the name child and I'm writing two lines of code, which is nothing but it's printing two lines. You are a child, you must be in our primary school. But this code, will not get executed automatically. So this need to be explicitly called anywhere in the code in a program. So let us call it child. So we are calling this this way. So uh, give the name of the subroutine and left parenthesis, right parenthesis. So this, this is what calling the subroutine. So the moment you call child, the code between the end and sub sub and sub sub and end sub will get executed. So let us run it. So I clicked on exe execute. So it says you are a child, you must be in your primary school. So let us call it once again. So two times I'm calling it. So let us execute. So it printed two times. Both lines it printed two times, right? Because we called it two times. So that means this code is a reusable code. We can call it anywhere in the program and we can call it any number of times. So let us write a uh, few more subroutines. Say I'm saying sub child and let us also say sub teen. You are, a, you are a teen, you must be in your high school, something like that. So let us paste one more and let us say young. You are young. You must stop. Start it working, something like that. So we have written three subroutines. Let us also write a few more. So let us say Medil, you are in Medilesh, you, you must be in a good position already, something like that. So let us also write one more say let us hold subroutine hold you are you are in our retirement let's say something like this hope you are enjoying retired life something like this so we have written um child teen young middle and old there are five subroutines 
and let us call it based on the age. So let us say, I am writing this, which uh, I already discussed these things in the previous programming. So I am not uh, uh, previous vi videos. Right line. So I am asking, what is your name? Just to be interactive and name equal to text window. Next window read. So I'm all let me also ask for H. How old are you? And A is equal to read number because this is a number. Okay, so we are reading a uh, name and age. And based on the age, one of the subroutines should get executed. So let me let us compare. If age less than 13, then call child. Else, if I also discussed if condition in a separate video. So if you want the details, you can watch. Else, age less than 14 and each so let us say is greater than 12 and is less than 20 then let's call t else if Let us say for engage, let us take less than 21, 22, 35, let us take uh, is less than 36. Is greater than 19 and is less than 36. Let us call a routine young. Else if each greater than 35 and is less than 60 mid middle okay we named it middle else hold so did we close here uh, and if no so let me close the if condition if condition if you want so I'm just uh, formatting this. I'm selecting all using Control A and then format right click format program. So this got formatted, which means uh, uh, the indentation happened so that we can read it clearly. So if you see P is less than 30, that is means uh, 1 to 12, call the subroutine child. Else if is greater than 12 and is less than 13, uh, less than 20, that means 13 to 19, then T. Uh, 22 35 yang and 36 to 59 middle and um, more than 59 60 and more hold so if it is if uh, none of the conditions are true it calls hold so if one of the condition is true the relevant subroutine will be called for example if it is less than 30 child subroutine will be called what it does so it, it says you are a child, you must be in you know, primary school. This is the child subroutine. If age is 13 to 90, then teen. So what it does, it prints you are a teen, you must be in our high school. Similarly, if age is 20 to 30, young subroutine will be called. So young subroutine says you are in middle age. Oh, sorry. You are young, you must have started working like that. If uh, 36 to 60, age is between 36 to 60, then middle. So it says you are in middle age, you must be in a good position already. So if it is more than 60, it says you are in your retirement. Hope you are enjoying retired life. So there are 
uh, we wrote five subroutines and we are calling each subroutine based on the condition uh, based on the age. So let us run it. I click on the run. Oh, I expected then. Yeah, somewhere I missed it then. So for all conditions, we have to use then. Wherever if is there, if for else if we have to use then. For else it's not required. So this was already discussed in the video for if if condition. So say run. It is running. I click on the run and it's running. So it's asking for name Krishna and I'm saying 12. So it says you're a child, you must be in your primary school. Let us run it again. So let us let me give 60. Oh sorry, name I gave 60. Okay, you are in your retirement. Hope you are enjoying retirement. So it says uh, it runs the subroutine for old. So let us run again. Krishna and 34. You are young, you must have started working. So similarly, if you give teenage for example, I click on run, it is taking time. Krishna and let me give 80. You are a teen, you must be you know high school. Similarly, let us run it one once again. Krishna and let us say 38 which is middle you are in middle age you must be in a good position already so like this so we can use the sub rotation sub routines wherever we need in the program we can call any number of times if you want more one number of times we can call one number of times so here we we are using this we are calling this sub routine within the condition and what is required what is not related to age, uh, the condition we can print anywhere like either here or here. So before printing all this, so let us also print the text window, right line, you are age years old. So this is not related to any condition. So whatever age, whatever the age is, it just prints the age. So it is not within the if condition. If condition is used, uh, if we need a um, to call something or to print something, to do something. If the condition is true, then we are using the if condition. But this one is not related to any condition. So you are. Uh, so many years of old, whatever age is this. So let us say. So I click on the execute. Okay. Yeah, I did not close it here. I did not close the string here. Run. So Krishna and 37. So it says you are 37 years old. This is not within the condition, if condition, and this is within the if condition. It calls the subroutine middle because the age be, uh, belong to 36 to 59. So like that. This is about subroutines. Let us move on to the next session. Next lesson. Thank you.